So if you have an iPad or iPhone or any iOS device that has Siri and she's just listening for commands all the time, or if you have an Alexa that's listening for commands all the time, or if you have any other voice assistant that's listening all the time, you are literally susceptible to an attack that hackers can pull off that you can't even hear. That's what we're talking about today. Stay tuned. What's up world, this is Giovanni again. So recently, there was a paper published within which researchers showed how one can control various voice assistants via ultrasonic audio frequencies, or inaudible audio, or in other words known as sound that you can't hear yourself. So this means sound that is above 20,000 hertz, or 20 kilohertz. Humans can hear up to like 17,000 on average, and some humans can hear up to 19,000, but once it starts getting up over 20,000 hertz, it's too high of a frequency for your ear mechanisms to pick up. If you're in a public place and you have Siri enabled where she just listens for commands, you are susceptible to this attack right now. So in this paper, the researchers controlled Google Now, Alexa, Siri, and a whole host of other voice assistants. And what they were doing is they were modulating sound arbitrarily. So they posted a video on YouTube and you can watch them demonstrating. What they do is they tell the phone to call a specific number. They also tell the phone to go to an arbitrary URL. These researchers were even able to change the navigation commands via sound that you can't even hear. Just think about that. So the researchers also showed how to control some IoT device connected to the phone via this attack. If you have an Amazon Alexa that is always listening, which is by default, you're susceptible. And if you're susceptible to this, you're vulnerable to data theft. So the researchers showed this working on 16 devices and seven systems. Another thing to note is that this type of attack only works on average up to six feet reliably, but you know, you're around people like that all day. One of the recommendations made by the paper is for manufacturers today to stop even making consumer grade microphones that listen above 20,000 Hertz because you don't really need it. And that is fundamentally susceptible to this type of attack. Once again, my name is Giovanni. Thank you for watching. You can always find me on social media at Giovanni. Be careful out there and I'll see you next time.